Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick video that is on the Eagles trade deadline and our Philadelphia Eagles adding another D-back after adding Tay Gowan earlier in the season with some potential that sat out the COVID year of 2020 due to COVID-19. That is exactly what our new acquisition did as well in cornerback Gary Vincent Jr. from LSU. And so far, so good. There's a very good article written about Tay Gowan from Mike Greger, if you search his name and look him up about how he stepped up against a downtrod team like the Lions, which is exactly what you want to see, and also was one of our more competitive D-backs. Let me pop this other light on to have better lighting. One of our more competitive D-backs against the what's it called? The Kansas City Chiefs. Obviously, the key word is competitive. Our defense didn't look good in that game. But Tay Gallon was actually one of our more competent, competitive guys in that game. But let's get into this move we were able to get for a six-round pick from the Denver Broncos. The Philadelphia Eagles were able to get Gary Vincent Jr., who just like Gallon, opted out of the 2020 season due to the pandemic. He sits at 5'10", 189 pounds, and he was a 239th overall pick out of LSU, and he was a part of that 2019 Tigers championship team that he had recorded 87 tackles, six interceptions, and 16 pass breakups, and he was also a standout in track and field, so this guy, um, in difference to Gowan, who's great at that competitive 50-50 ball, but not always the best at shuffling and keeping up with the faster wide receivers, you got the opposite end of the spectrum with uh, Gary Vincent Jr. He might not be as competitive in those breakups like we saw in that Lions play. If you look at that article from Gregor that he had a great breakup there in that game, but he's definitely able to keep up more with the runners there. So the move, the key to this move, of course, our Eagles also traded Joe Flacco back to the Jets earlier on the 25th of October for a pick as well. But the key to this move is it's again, just like Tay Allen, it's a small move that has a chance to become a steal move if you can develop the guy rightly. And obviously the Eagles coaching staff on paper doesn't seem like with the dysfunction we've had early in the season, the best to develop people. But Tay Gallon seemed to come in. He looked very competent and competitive against the Chiefs. And then as you want to do, stepped up against a Lions team, a, a kind of downtrodden Lions team. He did exactly what you wanted. So now it's about seeing how you can put Vincent in the right spot to be able to um, develop and be what he's able to do. Now, he was able to crack. He was an interesting case for the Broncos because he made their active roster out of training camp, and then they just benched him since. So there's, I don't know if that was just simply, they just didn't have a position to put him in. Nobody got hurt where the Eagles obviously have more of an opportunity for guys to come in on their secondary with how our secondary is performing. Just like Gallon, you're going to implement him to see what he can do because nobody else is stepping up. And so far, it's been good for him. So we'll see what Vincent's able to do. I have a feeling he'll definitely be active here soon when it comes to playing for the Eagles. Um, in terms of him, though, in his senior season, he had three interceptions for touchdowns in his senior year when he was in high school, and he was also a two-time state champion. So we know this guy has the speed. His size kind of reminds me more of just like a Boykin like kind of slot corner, like somebody like that that can guard the slot. You're not going to tell him to do like you have Tay Gowan as a developing guy there that we got earlier in the season if he can keep developing to go up and kind of battle those 50-50 balls and knock him out with the size and body type he has. But you got a guy in Gowan who has that size and body type that's able to come in and kind of be good on those 50-50 balls, but not as good on the shuffle and keeping up with faster guys. Now mixed in with another potential guy, a late-round pick you're able to trade for that could have been drafted earlier in the draft, just like Gallon if he didn't opt out, probably more in the middle rounds than the late. And you're going to get to see if you can develop him and make him into a good player. This, again, is a small pickup for the Eagles, but it's a pickup that has a chance in Gary Vincent Jr. getting another D-back to turn into a nice steal pickup if you can develop him. Right. Obviously, I'm not fully confident off the bat in this coaching staff doing that, but at least looking at Tay Gallon, if you look at that great article that Mike Greger wrote that has over about 11,000 hits now, that he, he cited how Tay Gallon's come in and established himself and has played well since coming here. So if we can activate Vincent, he can start moving in the right direction. Maybe you can get two guys that you bring in just for late round picks that could have been more middle rounders if you got them in the draft yourself that develop rightly. We know Howie doesn't obviously always draft well or usually draft well for, for all things considered, but maybe he can 
hopefully make up for not drafting well when it comes to the secondary lately by maybe bringing in these guys. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but with Gowan, at least we see him fitting in nicely since coming here and doing what you would expect. You see blips in his um, coverage at times because he has weaknesses shuffling his feet and keeping up, but he's definitely good on the bat on 50-50 ball. Where this guy, Vincent Jr., doesn't have issues shuffling his feet and keeping up. That's what he's good at. He's just not as good on the 50-50 ball. So you got the side of both sides. So I think it's a good pickup. You picked up a corner that kind of has the strengths that Gallon has as weaknesses. And then Gallon has strengths where Vincent has weaknesses. So you can kind of develop those two to be different parts of your defense. And they could work well if both become small pickups that become nice, good, sneaky, kind of behind, under the radar pickups that develop for you. So this has been a reaction to the Eagles deadline being able to get a nice small D-back pickup again in Gary Vincent Jr. Just like they were able to pick up Tay Gallon earlier in the season. Now let's see if he can fit in just like Gallon has seemed to fit in well and start showing some inroads in terms of his development development that he has since coming here to our Eagles. Let's see if Vincent can do the same. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. This has been a reaction to the Eagles getting Gary Vincent Jr. at the deadline, a small move. And we hope like Gallon starting to look slowly but surely to become maybe a steel move. Peace out. Stay safe and fly Eagles fly.